Well, disappointing loss for us, no doubt about it. Here at home, uh, you know, good crowd, good atmosphere to play in. Uh, you know, I think uh, I'll credit Delaware played really well, shot the ball really well, <clears throat> played with poise, I thought, uh, tonight. Um, I think our, our downfall was the first half defensively. Uh, we were not um, playing with the level of intensity we needed to. Uh, we didn't have the energy we, and the activity we needed to. You know, and they shot 58% and 55% from the field. And that's, you know, 15, it's not easy to come back. Uh, but the very positive thing was is that, as I told the guys at halftime, we, we need this. You know, we need to see what we can do right here as a ball club. And they really responded to that. Uh, great energy and effort in the second half. Uh, tremendous comeback. And uh, each time we put ourselves in a position with a ball and a tie, we took bad shots. Uh, other than one time, we took a shot. I think we got a rebound and missed a layup inside. But uh, you know, I think I think we were in such a hurry at times late in the game that our shot selection wasn't as good as it needed to be. So, sir, obviously struggled to beat them. There's no question about that. But uh, um, you know, I think it's more about us. We you know they they played very well as I said. But uh, you know, we didn't defend for a half. It's tough. Uh, and our shot selection was not good in the second half. It really wasn't. But uh, I think the atmosphere probably had something to do with speeding us up a little bit. And, uh, and I've said it before, but it's a young team. We took some bad shots in that last five minutes, you know, and too much of a hurry to get it all done at one time, I think, sometimes. Which we did a really nice job of the first part of the half. You know, we kept talking. You know, we, we're not going to do it all in one possession, in one play. And we kept really battling and battling and battling. But once we got to the tie score, we got a little uh, – a little quick with the ball sometimes. Well, we certainly want him back. You don't, you don't lose one of your best players and not be affected by it. But, um, um, it, you know, Wednesday night, the guys that replaced him played really well. Tonight, we didn't get much out of that committee, as I called it last time. Uh, you know, we had one starter and three of our reserves off the bench we got zero points out of. You know, and that's hard. That's hard. Uh, it's, it's easier to make those shots when you're up 18, as it was Wednesday night, than to make those shots when the game's on the line. Those guys will get to that point. I don't have any doubts about that. But we got great, you know, you know we got some great looks for those young guys that didn't go in a hole for them. But uh, in time, those will go in. We knew what we were supposed to do in that situation. We practice it. That's why we work on it in practice. And we had one guy that didn't do what he was supposed to do. And the result, we took a, a difficult shot as opposed to maybe getting a little bit better look. Obviously, we'd like for him to have the ball in his hand, but we did not set an early screen for him, which would have given him a chance to, to play. The screen occurred at the top of the key, which we, they're going to trap you in that situation. The screen was supposed to occur before half court, which would have given him some space to play in. And uh, also, given the two shooters we had on the wing, if they helped off Marcus, they would have been open. So we didn't execute the last play very well. Um, the first half definitely hurt us. Uh, I won't say we lost the entire game there, but uh, it's always hard to play from behind. So. You know, that had something to do with it. And, uh, yeah, we missed a couple of plays in the second half. But, uh, you know, it's a total, it's a whole game. So, uh, different stuff here and there uh, across our loss today. Uh, they have really good guard play. You know, they got uh, really deep coming off our cover. You know, the guards just got really deep. Whether it was a, a kick to a big or kick out for a three, you know, they put a lot of pressure on our defense. So, um, they did a good job on that. And uh, you know, we just got to do a better job. Um, I think the way they guard us, you know, kind of um, it's, it's a little awkward uh, for our offense, what we want to do. So, we got, we got stagnant here and there. Uh, kind of took us out of things of what we wanted to do. So um, you know, we just got to be better, you know, uh, you know, run our stuff and execute appropriately, you know, no matter what the other team is doing. So that was on us today. Um, I mean, yeah, it never hurts to get a couple more scores here and there. But, I mean, um, me and Marcus were both open, and we were both hitting shots. So, I mean, uh, I don't want to blame the game on that or anything. Um, and, yeah, I mean, missing Daniel in a game like this, uh, it really hurts. I mean, he, he knocks down tough shots, and uh, there was plenty of that tonight. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't think that cost us the game, though. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, I think t t today was more so on us than anyone else. I mean, we really hurt ourselves as far as execution on offense and uh, not sticking to our principles uh, in its entirety in the, in, in the ball game defensively. So um, it's more so on us, you know, not, I don't know. I don't know why it always happens against Delaware, but uh, I think it's just more so us than anything.